The disciples of Jesus asked, Tell us, Lord, what will be our end? And Jesus answered, But do you know the beginning in order to know the end? For where was the beginning will be also the end. In passing through millennia, the oldest pages of human history suffered the influences of time and reached us corrupted or not completed. Yet many oral and written sources, petroglyphs, cuneiform scriptures, and clay tablets, reveal the forgotten origins of the creation of humanity and provide a universal explanation for it. In South America, near Lake Titicaca, a gate is carved on a mountain. This gate, leading to the land of gods, is called Puerto de Haya Marca. This same enigmatic rock-carved gate has another name, Aramu Muru, meaning the Gate of Gods. According to the epic monuments of the Yakut Saha people, Olonho, the world was created by white-skinned Hai creator gods in the Sea of Ararat, and the inhabitants of the medium world in general were called Hai Aimaga, meaning the inheritors of Hai. In the fatherland of philosophy, Greece, Haya, Aya, means sacred, sacramental, divine. For example, the famous temple of Hagia Sophia in Istanbul literally means Saint or Sacred Sophia's Temple. Hagia Graphi means Sacred Scripture and Hagia Trafesa means Sacramental Altar. In India, the word Hagia symbolizes the solar essence of the Creator God, among other meanings. It also means sane, alive. The well-known Haya Krishna and Haya Buddha idioms literally mean living Krishna and living Buddha. In Hebrew, Hai means life, as well as to be, to exist. In the clandestine knowledge of the Kabbalah, the highest and most sacramental degree of the soul, reached only by the few exceptional chosen ones, is called Haya. Haya is the word to describe the celestial, innocent state of the soul of mankind, the Adam Kadmon, the primordial man. In Siamese Buddhism, the priest's range of knowledge has five degrees. The fifth, the highest and final degree, is called Hayadava, great master of wisdom. The religious canonical order of Islam has three degrees of faith. The third degree, the highest level of the apprehension of Allah is called Haya. The sound of the two main calls in Muslim prayer mean respectively hurry to pray and hurry to salvation. The Iranian people's memory preserved facts about a primeval human being, which in the Avesta is acknowledged as the patriarch of Aryan peoples. His name is Hayamard, or Kayomard. It translates as a living mortal. In Irish Celtic folklore, in the depths of the earthly ocean, there is a divine isle shrouded in constant fog which becomes visible to humans only once every seven years. This isle, paradisiacal, full of enigmas, is called High Brazil. Modern-day Brazil takes its name from this very same place. In Western Europe, since ancient times, lived the Basques, a nation with an interesting origin. According to the Basques, their patriarch named Haitor came from a far-off proto-homeland and gave birth to the Basque people. According to the Chinese myth, Yu Yang, Rescued from the last deluge comes the first Chinese emperor who in the first millennium BC writes a treatise on worldview and human relations, the Shanghai Ching, a treatise about seas and the order of mountains. Haya means sea in Chinese and water in Japanese and Vietnamese. 
According to the myths of the North American Sioux, Chippewa, and Ojibwe Aboriginal tribes, God created them with a mission to guard and to protect the waters. Priests and warriors beat their chests while calling for the Creator God in the following words, Hoki Haya. It is known that Jesus and his disciples spoke and wrote in Aramaic. Significant parts of the Holy Bible's narratives were also written in Aramaic. According to these narratives, Jesus called his heavenly Father, My Father Alive. Alive in Aramaic sounds as Haya. In the Assyrian language, alive, living, or sane also sounds as Haya. And so on, and so on. Why is this word's enigma so widespread? What's the reason behind the endless, frequent appearance and usage of the word I, Hai, Haya by such seemingly distant and geographically unconnected civilizations? Perhaps this unrevealed mystery of humanity has one common and forgotten source which nurtured all of the world's people. Or perhaps the secret of the origin of humanity itself is encoded in this very same enigmatic word's wisdom. And Jesus said, No what is before you, and what was covered from you will be known. For there is nothing concealed that will not be revealed.